What's, What's up, up West? West? I'm Lennox. And I'm Ryan. We have a few announcements to share with, before we get into some of our feature stories. Mr. Sweagles would like to remind everyone that weather is changing, so it's time to get your winter shorts. Also, the end of the semester is coming up fast. January 20th seems far away now, but after Thanksgiving and winter break, it's going to be here in no time. Student Senate will be hosting a non-perishable food and personal hygiene drive. More details will be coming soon. GSA club meetings will be held on Thursdays after school from 2.45 to 3.30 in the 6th grade multi-purpose room. Parent permission slips are available in each wing office. During advisory, we recently learned about the Positivity Project, characteristic strength of bravery. Bravery can take many forms, physical bravery, moral bravery, and mental bravery. There are many students and teachers here at West Middle School who demonstrate bravery on a daily basis. This episode of the West Press includes quite a few examples of bravery. We actually asked a few students to share their most embarrassing moments, and a few were brave enough to tell us about it. Um, probably in elementary, I threw up because we were doing like this food project, and someone like I think there was like peanut oil and something, and I'm allergic to peanuts, so I threw up. The first day of kindergarten, basically my first day of school ever. Um, my gym teacher, uh, I had to use the restroom, and she said no like five times. I did it right there in front of her. In first I fell on my face on the stairs. Probably in fourth grade when I ripped my pants. Probably when I went to walk up in front of the class and do a presentation, my shoelace came untied and I tripped over my shoe. Hey Lennox, have you ever thought about running in a running marathon? No, I've never thought about trying one. This fall, many West Middle School staff members were brave enough to participate in some physically demanding races. I heard that Mr. Perkins participated in the Iceman Challenge. I also heard that Ms. Jones and Mrs. Somerville participated in a half and a full marathon. West Press staff interviews Ms. Somerville about her experience. The race was in Grand Rapids. The Grand Rapids Marathon. It went well. I was really pleased. I was within a minute of the time goal I had set for myself. And it was kind of a bonus. I ended up finishing as the fourth female overall. But that, that didn't matter to me as much as just having a a faster time than I'd previously had in any other marathon I'd done. I think that this was probably my biggest running accomplishment just as far as the, the pace and the outcome of this marathon. But this is also the seventh marathon that I've done. It was the first one that I had done since becoming a parent. So it had been seven years since I ran my last marathon. I prefer to run in Nikes right now. I've run in a lot of different brands before. I've tried Brooks and Asics over the years, but I've landed with Nikes and I'm really happy with those. I, I really like Tracksmith running, uh, the, that running brand for clothing. Um, they're located in Boston. They have a lot of really nice modern kind of clothes for running. So it's sort of a, a different look and a feel than other running brands I've tried. Well, I run year round, so I run all four seasons. Winter running can be pretty tricky with the ice. I've fallen sometimes and that's been painful. I would say that fall is probably my favorite season to run because you don't have to battle the heat and humidity of the summer. Training for a race, I generally, my husband is really good at drawing me up training plans because he's also an avid runner. So he breaks it down by week and there's generally a day that's dedicated to a longer slower distance and there's generally a day that is dedicated to some kind of interval or track or tempo training and the rest of the days of the week are just geared to get miles so pretty relaxed pace mm -hmm. i do listen to music when i run about half the time and I have a Garmin music watch and earbuds that I use. 
I kind of like to listen to everything. It's like a pretty eclectic mix. Um, I definitely have a lot of upbeat music that I like to run to, like Taylor Swift. Sometimes trying new activity can take mental bravery. Taking a new elective that you haven't tried before is fun, is a fun way to expand your experiences. If you are curious about jazz band, here is a student perspective on what it's like. What's it like in jazz band? Uh, it's really fun. We get to play with quite a few different instruments from sometimes what we'd normally play in normal band, and uh, it's different music from what we play. It's really nice. Why did you choose to do jazz band? Uh, I chose it because it would be an extra challenge for me, and since normal band is pretty easy at this point, there's nothing really, not as much stuff happening. In jazz band, it just gives us extra stuff to play. It's more fun. What makes jazz band more difficult than normal band? The different music. type we play and like the rhythm can be like way faster than our normal songs in band, concert band. What is your favorite song from jazz band? So far, our, my favorite song is probably going to be like 20, 25 or 6 to 4 by Chicago. We just started playing it this year. It's really good. All right. How far are you in learning that song? Not very. It like about halfway, maybe-ish. What is your favorite thing in jazz band? Playing music with all the other people and the way the sounds blend, it's really nice to in the different styles of music. What kind of instruments do you play? In, what kind of instruments play in jazz band? Uh, we have trumpets, trombones, uh, there's a couple French horns I think, there's clar clarinets, shouldn't be, but I mean no offense to them. And then saxophones and I think one flute. Before we leave you for this episode, we wanted to share a quick how-to video with you. If you feel like being brave in the hallways, check out how to catch a spider. This is the this West, West Press, West signing, signing off. off. <laughs> Alright, so first you put the can right in front of the spider and use the put the lid behind it to keep the spider from running backwards into your hand and biting you because these spiders are aggressive and they hate you. Never forget these spiders hate you. They're, they're vicious. Actually, they're not that vicious. They only bite you if you pick them up, but that's not the point. So what you do is you slowly close together the can and the lid until the spider either sprints into the can or sprints to the side. If it sprints to the side, repeat the original steps until the spider runs into the can because they will, trust me. They won't. They will. They're not that smart. They'll run into the can. And that's how you catch a spider.